My play button finally got here, so I'm going to unbox it for you so you can know what to expect when you get yours, and we're starting right now. This is how we do. So I finally got this in the mail. Thank you very much. If you've been a subscriber to the channel, if you're a subscriber right now, or if you are watching this video right now and subscribing, thank you for being a part of this. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm going to unbox it for you so you can see what to expect when yours comes. And after that, I'm also going to share some tips on how you can also get 100,000 subscribers on your channel. For this, we're gonna have to head into the other room. Let's go. When your play button arrives, it's going to arrive in a box that looks like this. It's going to be wrapped in this plastic stuff, but just like anybody else, we wanna get this off as fast as possible so that we can get to the inside and look at the good stuff. Okay, that's gone. Now let's get to the good stuff. Once the box is unwrapped, then of course you get that cool YouTube thing. It's a really nice box so it's great for an award or gift or whatever they did a fantastic job on this it feels nice and sturdy it's just it's just awesome okay and then here we go for the reveal so you get this nice letter it's a personalized letter from the ceo of youtube i'll bring that up close to the screen so you can read that there if you would like but basically it's a congratulatory thing but you know let's get past this part too i want to get into the actual button i want to see this thing but basically this is just a congratulatory letter saying that you have done a fantastic job um, by reaching the 100,000 subscriber milestone so now for the big reveal i've been waiting to see this for a really really long time so i'm really excited for this and as we take this off look at that ah glorious okay so we are going to take that off so once you remove that foam then you have more foam in here that this is actually shipped in so we're going to take this out of the thing here see if there's anything else and it doesn't look like there's anything else so we are going to unwrap this and then there is the official YouTube reward. Congratulations on passing the 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Looks beautiful. You know, it's it's not that heavy. It's kind of uh, it's kind of light weight, but uh, but it looks fantastic. The overall presentation that they did here was absolutely just gorgeous. I mean, it's fantastic, fantastic job. I'm excited to have this. Now the fun part is trying to figure out where to actually put this in my set. <laughs> Okay, now how this whole thing works is once you cross 100,000 subscribers, you're gonna get a little notification inside of your Creator Studio admin. That notification is going to tell you that you have qualified for the reward and that you need to go and fill out a form in order to receive it. Once you fill out that form and you get everything taken care of there, it takes about a long time. It's like, um, I think six to eight weeks for you to actually get it from the time that they send you that notification. And that notification took like, I think a month or maybe six weeks in order for that to even come in. But once you get that notification, you get all that stuff filled out and you wait that six to eight weeks to actually receive it, it's a fantastic feeling. And for that feeling, I do just wanna jump in really quick again and say thank you so much. If you've been a part of my channel for any amount of time, even if it's just starting with this video, thank you so much for being a part of this community, being a part of the channel, supporting me with what it is that I do to help you. As a side note, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put this thing yet. It's back over here, as you can see. But now I'm going to tell you some tips that you can keep in mind for how you can get 100,000 subscribers on your channel if you're not there yet. Number one, thumbnails are extremely important. You have to spend time to make quality thumbnails. If nobody's clicking on your stuff, nobody's gonna know how good your videos are, nobody's gonna be able to subscribe to your channel because nobody's clicking on anything and you're not generating any views. Titles, also extremely important important. If you're not making good titles, again, people are going to be less likely to click on your stuff. So if you're not making excellent titles, you're in that situation again to where you might have the best videos in the world. But if you're not generating or you're not making those things interesting for people to click on, nobody's ever going to know. You also want to make sure that you're doing as much community involvement as humanly possible. As your channel grows, it gets increasingly more difficult, but do what you can because it's those people. It's all of those people down in your comment section that are talking to you in your comments, that are sharing your videos, that are liking your videos that are putting them out on Twitter and Facebook and all of that stuff. And without that community side of things, it makes this 
pretty hollow. Another tip is to try to add value in any way that you possibly can. And by value, I mean, if you're making people laugh, you're adding value. If you're showing people how to do things, you're adding value. If you're helping people understand a difficult concept, you're adding value. If you're showing people things out of their favorite movies that they've never seen before to where they watch it and they're like, oh, I never even noticed that before. You're adding value. Just find something to make sure that you're adding value to the people that are watching your content. Super important. You've heard it before, be consistent. Another thing that is really helpful is to make sure that you are using the platform correctly. Go into your analytics, make sure people are responding to your stuff the way that you think they are. Make sure that you're using all of the features that YouTube provides to you because if you're not using those features, you could be missing out on a lot of traffic. That includes your channel keywords, playlists, the ads that YouTube lets you use, all of that stuff. Use everything. It's what it's there for. You also wanna make sure that you're educating yourself as much as possible. Go through the YouTube Creator Academy. I'll put a link to that down in the description below and make sure that you are up to speed on what is actually going on on YouTube, how they expect you to use the platform. Knowledge is power and taking action on that knowledge can get you really, really far here on YouTube. Another tip is to try to be different. You know, being unique can really help you stand out because if you're trying to do all of these things like all of these other creators, then you end up being invisible and you don't really stand out. You might get views and things like that and you know, you might get bumps in channel growth and all of that stuff, but in order to make like something really solid, be unique. Another tip is to keep creating. You know, the more that you do stuff with anything in life, the more that we do stuff, the better we get at it. So let's say that you are a creator that uses scripts in your videos. In that case, when you are reading your scripts, how you're reading them now compared to how you're gonna be reading them six months from now is gonna be completely different because your brain is going to learn different things that are gonna help you get through that script reading easier and in a more natural way. Or you'll end up doing what I did, which is just ditching the scripts and going with bullet points. But in order to know that that's right for you, you have to practice and you have to go through those different things and get through those different learning curves in order to make sure that you are doing the thing in the best way that works for you. Another tip is to make sure that you're using tools. TubeBuddy, if you're a YouTube content creator and you're not using TubeBuddy, you're, you're crazy, you're missing out on so much. Morning fame. If you're a content creator and you're not using Morning Fame, you're missing out on so much. Use the Creator Studio app in your phone so that you can make sure that you're keeping up with comments and stuff like that on the go as much as you can. You know, there's a, I've, I have a bunch of tools videos. I'll actually link to one right here, but there's a bunch of tools videos that I have. Make sure that you're using all this stuff because it really helps in organization and in creation and all of that stuff. It really makes a difference. And I also wanna say again that I did make that other video here about, um, it's just a longer video on how I got 100,000 subscribers. So. If you are interested in that particular topic, definitely head over there and check it out. I've even got some sentimental stuff in there that you might enjoy or you might not. And again, I wanna say real quick, I just wanna say thanks again for making this possible. Um, this has been an awesome thing for me. This whole YouTube thing has just been an awesome, life-changing thing for me. Um, so I, I really hope that everybody that's watching this video, I really hope that, um, that you get to experience something similar to this because it's absolutely amazing. Just keep putting in the work, keep doing your thing and make it happen. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.